Yeah. Oh, well, let me, in. yeah, let me go to Gerald next. Gerald, go for it, sir. Hey, everybody. I was wondering if you wanted to uh, see a fun little demonstration of my Vortex Quell. So, um, Joe, like yeah, a minute yeah. long. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing. Um, I've yeah. So, up, I'll, you know, I'll tell you what. Why don't we do that? Gerald, can you turn your camera on and you're going to have to share screen? You're going to have to share screen, buddy. And then, so after that, we'll go to Andrew and then Bill Alec, and maybe we'll close things down for this evening if that works. There we go. I just got to set it here. All right. Can you see the magnet? Oh. <laughs> okay. It just figures when you're on live, everything goes wrong all at once, right? So how do I share screen? No, you, you are. Oh. Oh, well, I am already? No, you're not, actually, but I can see what you're doing. Okay, fair enough. What I had set up here before this fell off. Yeah, I don't think you need magnet. to share. I think this is a live experiment. I think you're good, man. Live, everything always goes wrong at the last second. No, nah, right, live so, is live is it's the thrill of not knowing right it's the it's the drama right i love it personally okay so here's what i got i got a 750 foot by filer round vortex coil i have a vortex generator pulsing through a horizontal deflection transistor i'll be pulsing at 261 hertz and the power supply is a 24 volt two amp wall plug power supply but what i want to show is the control of this magnet in the center so here we go hopefully everything works properly Can you see the spin? Yeah, yeah. it's a shooter. You're doing vortex, you're doing. And I can control it to a fine tuned rate. But if I push it too much, it sucks it to the outside. Because what it wants to do is it wants to come up and continue out. And there's also a vortex on the outside, but it's going in the opposite direction. So that's just my fun little experiment. I just wanted to show a magnet on a string spinning around a vortex coil. That's awesome, Gerald. Thank that's you. It. Thank you for your time, guys. In the future, in the future, you should do it with one on the outside and one on the inside. We'll see. See, maybe you can that's demonstrate a, both. And you, you know what the awesome other experiment. Gerald, the the other thing that you might consider is uh iron filings on paper, right? Good idea. Maybe if I can get uh one of those uh gel type uh situations where you can see or, or, or just it's just small. plexiglass just a piece of plexiglass and then put some iron filings on top you know uh, what I'll try the, that gel, the, the gel things aren't as good as iron filings put the iron filings inside of a salt shaker and uh pour it on top of either like a like a sheet of a, a plexiglass or just a piece of paper or something like that we'll give you a <laughs> There's a little toy that you can buy at the toy store. It has those little like tablets that are already like the, the the filings are gridded. All you need is a magnet to like show the image. Like you know, just take the, yeah. the plastic off and get put it on there, and it could measure it. Well, thank mm -hmm. you for the suggestions. We'll do that next time uh, I get the opportunity. All Thanks, right, guys. Okay. Thanks for your time, guys. Absolutely. Well, let, so let me go to let me go to Drew next, and then Bill after that. Okay, there we go. Drew, are you 